Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 8 8. The steel water pipe has an inner diameter of 12 inch and wall thickness of 0.25 inch. If the wall A is open and the flowing water is under gauge pressure of 250 psi, determine the longitudinal and hoop stress developed in the wall of pipe. So you can see this is the pipe, this is wall A and it is given that if wall A is open, determine the hoop stress and longitudinal stress. So let's start with the given data. This is problem 8-8. So given data, it is given that steel water pipe steel water pipe having diameter of 6 inch inner diameter so di is equal to 12 inch so implies that inner radius ri will be equal to 6 inch and wall thickness t is given as 0 0.25 inch and Water flowing is under gauge of 250 psi. So pressure is equal to 250 psi. So what we have to find determine the longitudinal and root stress. So to find sigma root which is equal to sigma 1 and sigma longitudinal which is equal to sigma 2. So let's start with the solution. Also, it is given that if wall A is open, so wall A is open, so in that case, we can say that sigma 2 which is equal to sigma L, that is equal to 0. Also, for checking, for analysis of, for analysis of thin wall, pressure vessel whether this problem lies within thin wall or not so we can check it by using criteria r over t should be greater than 10 so r is 6 and t is 0 0.25 that should be greater than 10 so you can see this will be equal to 24 and 24 is greater than 10 so it means that this is thin wall Involved pressure vessel problem. This is there. Now we can find hoop stress sigma h is equal to P into R divided by T. So P is 250 psi, R is 6 inch divided by thickness is 0 0.25. So when you calculate it, you will get this is equal to 6000 psi. R sigma hoop is equal to 6 ksi so sigma 1 is equal to this is equal to sigma 1 so sigma 1 is equal to sigma hoop stress and that is equal to 6 ksi where longitudinal stress in this case that is equal to 0 now we we'll move toward the problem 8-9 so in problem 8-9 the data is same diameter inner diameter is 12 inch wall thickness is 0 0.25 inch now it is given that wall A is closed so wall A is closed and the water pressure is 300 psi so P is equal to 300 PSI. So you have to determine the longitudinal and hoop stress developed in the pipe. So to find sigma 1 is equal to sigma h and sigma 2 is equal to sigma longitudinal. Clear? And you have also draw the state of stress on the volume element located on the wall. So let's start with the solution. So we know that sigma 1 is equal to sigma h is equal to P into R divided by T. So P is 300 psi. 
R is six divided by T is zero point two five. So when you calculate it, you will get sigma one, which is root stress, that is equal to seven point. It will be seventy two p hundred psi, and that is equal to seven point two zero ksi. So this is sigma one or sigma root, and sigma longitudinal is p into r. Divide by two t, so p is three hundred. R is six. Divide by two into zero point two five, and that sigma two is equal to three point six zero ksi. Also, if you divide sigma one by two, which is equal to three point zero six zero ksi, and that will be equal to longitudinal stress. Here. Now we have both these two stress. You can draw the state of stress on the pipe element. So let if we cut some portion of this. So I will draw it. Here, so your longitudinal stress will be in this direction. Is sigma longitudinal R is equal to sigma two, and that is equal to three point six zero ksi. While your root stress will be in this direction, that is equal to sigma one is equal to sigma h, and that is equal to seven point two zero ks. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and keep supporting me. Take care.